Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Sumimo security camera for outdoor installation. This is only around $50. The listing says Sumimo 1080p Wi Fi camera with night vision, home security camera system with motion noise alert, two way audio wired camera, and so on. It has a possibility for cloud storage IP65. That's the box here, the model type we see. Um, 6S, yeah, outdoor security camera 24 7 recording. Here we have the box and some information here, also some specs and features. It's a 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi camera. I mean, actually, all of these cameras are only supporting 2.4 gigahertz, it's because of the wireless range. The idea here is to have something 24 7 recording. Uh, I have a lot of battery operated cameras already, also some of the Sumimol uh, brand, which I really love, but of course they don't have 24 7 recording and here they write 130 degrees wide angle lens, so everything is really interesting. So we have it here, so I'm going to take it out of the box see what we get and I'm going to connect it to the app and I'm installing outside and then after that I'm going to show you some footage. So here's everything what we get. We get some installation equipment and also this wrench. We get the power support installation manual and here we have the camera and you can see it has even pretty long cable by the way that's uh, looking like this and this is what we have on the other side yeah it's hard to see here so in total we have a huge very very long cable this is a really good thing uh, here is how it looks in the front of course we have to remove the thing at the very end I'm just doing this after installation what we have what's interesting is this antenna design it's a rather uh, new very sophisticated design uh, with some of the cameras I've always been struggling a little bit because they are just too close and then sometimes they are difficult to mount here it looks like we cannot remove but we have some really interesting function here which makes it easy to bend in all directions also the mount here is really interesting we don't have anything to secure here but we have something to secure here of course with the wrench uh, we have three screws which we uh, can use or have to use I mean it's depending on your needs so it looks like everything is really flexible, uh, definitely a, a, a nice construction I would say. Yeah, here when we are looking at the manual, I'm not going to show you everything. I mean, first thing, it's huge, it's really long, it describes everything also about the app and everything. But I mean, we are talking here about the Sumimol and they have the website and I'm pretty sure they have everything online. So you don't have to be worried if you lose these things, you can always access their website, their information and also connect to their support. So uh, I'm going to power it on and then I'm going to uh, download the app and to connect and so we can see how easy or difficult it is. So here we have the QR codes that's important to download and install the app. Looks like it's available for Android and iOS. So the good thing is after scanning this, it brought me to the official Play Store app and not to the website uh, where you have to download something from the third party and you don't know if it's safe. So this thing is checked by Google and you can be sure that it's safe. Of course, it's now important to give all the authorizations, otherwise the app won't work correctly. And then we have to sign up or log in. So I'm actually ready with the app to connect, but before we connect, we first have to add a micro SD card and we have to open this thing here, this lid. Yeah, it's a position which I don't like too much. It's a little bit difficult to access and of course it would be nice to have it protected underneath, but it is as it is. At least we have this nice flap here which you can just pull out and then we have to insert the micro SD card. It's probably not so easy here. The writing goes to the top, the pins go to the bottom. 
and just push it here inside. I mean, it works really good. I'm not complaining too much. What's really good, yeah, again here, what's really, really important here that you only buy cameras where this cover here is attached to the camera. I have already bought cameras where this lid is not connected or this cover is not connected to the camera and then it's uh, highly prone to lose it and after that it's not waterproof anymore and you can basically dump your camera. So it's actually not a bad solution here. So now we are actually ready to connect. I'm going to power this in and then we connect the power cable of the camera here. Now it's on power and we hit the plus button here. I mean the zooming all when I think to the other cameras which I have already been installing this is as easy as it gets. That's one of the big big pluses of zooming all cameras that they are usually so easy to connect. So let's see how it is in this case. Yeah, it has already been talking to me. Please power on the device. I've done this already. Let's click on next. Okay, yeah okay I mean actually uh, if it's not working I will go and press the reset button but I see in the first installation the red thing is actually blinking so I think we are good to go here without pressing the reset button but if you have trouble just use the reset button inside here so I'm clicking on next select the Wi-Fi network you want to sync with oh. please choose a two Okay, I'm going to enter the Wi-Fi router password, so it's not a password from this device here, it's from your normal uh, router. So I have it entered here and click on next, then we hit the OK button here and okay. Okay, very good advice here and we have to remove this protection here. We take the phone, of course, we have to click on next again. So it's showing the QR code. Oh, there's another protection here. Uh, I didn't remove everything, so everything has to be removed, otherwise it won't work. And we are scanning here. Yeah, that's about 20 centimeters. I think it should be okay. I heard the notification. We click on here yeah let's try and wait and see but actually i'm really positive that it has been working good so i put this box here maybe we can see that here as soon as it's connected make sure that you're close to the router and have your uh, antenna positioned more or less and we have the device and I don't know if you have to click or just done here. And I think we can already access the image here. Do you want to allow floating window? I don't know what that is. Anyway, allow display over the app. Yeah, let's give all the OKs here. Yes, yeah, so here we have it already. It was really super easy, but we have some kind of echo. Yeah, the problem is, I mean, we have this uh, microphone here it's picking up everything and broadcasting everything to my speaker here so I have to turn this off here let's try this button here okay yeah that worked uh, maybe this is more to allow and record or I mean to uh, talk to somebody if you have installed this like at the entrance of your home and uh, yeah of course we have to give uh, authorization when we uh, hold here we can talk here to the app and everything what you are talking is broadcasted here uh, from this speaker underneath here so you can talk to other people of course you would have to uh, turn or on again the speaker of the phone but uh, the quality at least from here yeah looks pretty good uh, maybe we can increase the size or we have to hold it sideways but at the moment it's looking really good. There's not too much delay, even though we are pretty far away from the router. 
Yeah, that's looking good, uh, very stable, maybe something to read even. But I mean, these cameras are not built uh, to make close-ups. These cameras are more built like for long distance. And uh, so I'm going to install it now outside and I'm trying to record some things during the day and during the night. And then I'm going to show you everything and I'm going to finish then this review. So I've put the camera outside and now it has been there overnight almost for 24 hours. So this is how it looks. Of course, not professional installation. You can do it better, I'm pretty sure. But it's really good. It's safe. It's uh, secure. Everything has been working really good and it was really easy to attach there. I mean, I have only used one screw. You can use three of them and uh, at the end I had to secure everything when I had it in the right direction uh, pointed. Then uh, I had to secure it with this screw here. That's, that's the only one which you need to secure everything at the right angle at the very end. So it's very easy. So now let's go to the app and find out what it has been able to detect. So here we are at the front page. Let's click on the live view. What's really important here that we are using 1080p. I think the default at the beginning is 360p and then maybe you're wondering why it's not uh, doing a really good job. You think the quality is not good, but the quality is actually very good. Uh, you can even zoom in. I hope you can see that here. I mean, of course, yeah, after some time, the quality will be a little bit uh, compromised when you zoom in too much. But I would say for 1080p, it's very, very decent. You can move this thing around uh, left to right and do everything. By the way, uh, what I wanted to tell you is that this app here only works, of course, with uh, Android and iPhones and not on a PC or so. I mean, you can install uh, BlueStacks and then you can run this app on a PC. That's uh, That should be possible. I haven't tested that, but it, it, it should be possible. Then one thing which we already see, and it's actually my only complaint here, that's the viewing angle. I mean, it's in a perfect 90 degrees angle here, uh, wall on the left side, wall on the right side. And uh, as we can see, it's not much more than 90 degrees, maybe 95 or maybe 100 degrees. So it's definitely below the 130 degrees, but that's no difference compared to other uh, cameras. Most of them, they uh, exaggerate a, a, a little bit and it's in, in a similar area. I mean, I have seen so many listings, they claimed 150, 160, 170 degrees and so on. And when you look at them, they, they have barely 90 degrees. So I would say 90 degrees, it's uh, enough. You can put it in, in a corner and you see the whole angle, the whole uh, area here. For me, definitely not a problem. Yeah, here again, we have the live view. We could even limit a little bit down. I think that's uh, reducing a little bit. It's still 1080p. We have the history and everything what we are doing. You can really notice that everything is really fast. That's a really cool thing here. One of the things you will notice when you move around, this is almost working like with a hard disk, like if you have an NVR or so, but this is just from the micro SD card. You can move around. Uh, you can also go in the history. You can see the alerts here and you have the different motion detections and also this works really good. I mean, most of the things which have been captured during the night here, uh, these are like insects and so on. So I'll go a little bit back. You can see more during the night. Uh, I mean, by the way, regarding the night, that's really, really awesome. I hope I can uh, make this full size so you can see how good this is. In the corner, it's about, yeah, somewhere between 10 and 15 yards. It's pretty far away and you can see how bright this is. This is extreme. This is almost like during the day. I mean, it's absolutely pitch dark uh, in this area. I mean, there's another camera uh, a little bit emitting some infrared light, but not much. I'll show you that. 
this is much more. Most of the infrared light is coming from this camera and it's awesome. It looks like uh, almost like snow, but there's a lot. It's extreme how much infrared it's emitting. This helps a lot. So let's go back to the history, click a little bit on some things. Yeah, there was not much going on. Most of the things were just flying insects during the night. But you can see everything is really nicely visible. And you can see also the detections. I'm going to show you the settings later on. But you can see it has been recording 24-7, I mean all the time. Uh, but it has marked the areas where there was some movement with red and you can just go here and you will see something. I mean, here it's probably just some heavy shade and things moving around or insects or so. But I had also something during the night. I mean, I have been testing this. I, yeah, this is just the current day, but you can switch the day easily so we can go back to the last day. Here we go to the alerts and then we'll see what happens. I've been uh, in, in the back and you can see what I've been doing. I've been an, using another camera to check how much infrared light is there. And I really noticed that there's a lot. You can see the movement detection. Yeah, it was a little bit delayed, maybe two seconds or so, but it's really, really still fast. It has been doing a good job, I would say. Uh, never missed me when I was walking by here. Yeah, that's the thing I wanted to show you on the left side. That's the Sumi Mall and on the right side, there's an uh, expensive, actually an even more expensive camera. And you can see uh, it is barely emitting some infrared on the left side. The Sumi Mall is emitting much more infrared light, so helps a lot during the night. Yeah, by the way, this thing is using motion detection, real artificial intelligence to detect some motion detection. And it's not only using PIR or so. You could technically use this camera also inside uh, through a window when you turn off the infrared light that would be possible. So let's go back a little bit and I can show you where it started. So here's the beginning of the recording and you can see it hasn't been recording 24-7 because I didn't have the option turned on. It's really important if you want to have this full coverage 24-7, you have to turn it on in the settings. I mean, here we have the cloud. It's a similar thing as the normal history. We have the album, everything what you record, like images or pictures. I mean, when you go to the live view, you can record instantly here and it starts recording here when you hit the button, not like me here. Uh, yeah, you see it's recording on yeah, even during uh, the recording when you're recording you can make some uh, stand images absolutely no problem so I stop this thing here so let's go to the settings uh, and uh, of course we can set a lot re uh, regarding uh, alert notifications uh, we can share the device we have the normal device information installation guide basic functions here it starts actually network indicator privacy protection uh, there's a lot of settings here it is extreme we can flip the screen that's good if you want to mount it on a ceiling then the night vision you want to have the infrared light on or off or auto automatic which I had worked really good then the alert settings the motion detection you can set it on low medium or high or not at all and also noise detection if you want to get some alerts or uh, alarm recordings uh, when there is some noise this can also be helpful then the record management here you can see how much space there is left of course it will always overwrite the oldest uh, video when the storage is full here i have only 32 gigabytes i've been testing how much it's consuming and it looks like it's consuming only about 0.5 gigs per hour so means with a 32 gigabyte uh, sd card it should be good to go for about three days if you want to have longer recordings just make sure you buy a larger micro sd card these things are not uh, very expensive and uh, one advice from my side make sure you buy a good one like a samsung or so and not a cheap one because they have the controllers when you have power outage 
uh, you want to have everything recoverable which is only possible when you buy a, a good quality here we can also format these things or go to the cloud storage which is not activated of course you can uh, activate a, a seven day free trial and you can update here to the latest firmware i'm already on the latest firmware which is good looks like it came out of the factory with the latest firmware so bottom line is this is as good as it gets with a micro SD card. I mean, I have seen so many cameras which are struggling and slow and not recording, not detecting anything or weak infrared light and, and many, many problems. I think this is as good as it gets for this price. And you can also see that it has a 85% uh, still Wi-Fi connection. So I could mount it even further outside. But, but of course, uh, there, there's no power. If you need something, there are other Sumimol cameras, uh, battery-operated cameras, but they don't have 24-7 recording. If you want to go with the best option, uh, cheapest one, which is really good working, which is covering 24-7 recording without uh, buying NVR or so. I think this is the thing to go here. And I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or the drive from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.